Freaking, freaking, e e e e Scotland, you saw how there was a Scottish MEP who, ooh, actually, maybe he was an MSP. I forget what they call him. I think he was a member of the Scottish Parliament. He said something to the effect of, off with their heads, uh, while referring to the British uh, royalty. And that resulted in almost nothing happening to him. He wasn't really, I don't think, investigated or anything. He was denounced. But there was, you know, nothing happened to that guy. Do I have the right to freedom of speech? Whereas uh, if you look at how Al Baldessaro was handled in New Hampshire when he uh, hinted at having Hillary Clinton hanged, he was investigated by the Secret Service and interrogated. Although I think it was fairly unofficial. And now that we are uh, six, eight months past that comment and nothing further has happened to him, uh, I think we should uh, give credit where credit is due to the authorities that they didn't come down harder on him. Uh, but, uh, you know, in a sense, this is our fault that, uh, that he was investigated at all. Because, you, you, again, you, you, if we have a strong independence movement in New Hampshire, then authorities would tend to be more cautious about doing things to people in New Hampshire or investigating New Hampshire politicians. We want to get to the point where Scotland is. We don't have to necessarily get to the point where Slovenia is. And just going from where we are now to having a movement that is twice as big would have, have, a, uh, have a concrete effect, I think. Another thing is th that is important is that you want to be toward the, the, the first of the line when it comes to moving toward independence. If you look at the historical precedent in Yugoslavia and the, the Soviet Union, uh, Estonia was probably furthest along toward independence uh, in the 1989 era, and it turns out that you know they were, um, they were either the first out or they were sort of tied for first or close to first, and they did the best. If you look at Slovenia, first out of Yugoslavia, they did the best. Smallest number of deaths. There were hardly any in Estonia, you know, in the, in the uh, 80s independence drive. But if you look at Chechnya and Bosnia, they were much slower on the draw when it comes to independence, and they paid for it with hundreds of thousands of deaths. It's not within my power to make in NH independent, not within my power to create a strong movement, and it's uh, beyond my uh, ethical willingness to even ask for a bill. But I could take us from one independence group to two independence groups and keep people talking about it on talk radio and uh, talking about it pretty much every day on uh, NH Exit. What can you do? What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.